Hey everybody, this is Russ Carson Jr., one of the genealogists here at Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in Ripley, Ohio. Um, that is the Ohio River right there behind me, and you see Kentucky's right over my shoulder on the other bank there. But I'm um, here on Front Street, right on the banks of the Ohio, uh, and Ripley. Ripley was founded in 1812 and uh, was originally called Staunton, named after uh, Staunton, Virginia. But in 1816, they uh, changed the name to Ripley after the famous War of 1812, General Ripley. Um, I'm in a very specific location here and um, on the river. Um, I'm at the uh, home site of uh, John P. Parker, a very famous American that was born in 1827 as a slave in Virginia. He then purchased his freedom uh, in Alabama and uh, uh, eventually settled right here in Ripley. Now he was a self-taught uh, metal worker and uh, he founded what's called the Phoenix Foundry right here in Ripley and uh, where they manufactured screws. And he also was an inventor and he invented the Parker screw press that uh, was used to press uh, tobacco. Uh, he's one of the first uh, black Americans to receive a patent before the year 1900. Later on, Parker became a uh, very famous uh, person for the uh, Underground Railroad. He was a conductor of the Underground Railroad and it's said that he helped over 900 slaves achieve their freedom right here, as you see, right across the Ohio River. And he was also instrumental in uh, uh, raising uh, troops for the 27th uh, uh, Colored Infantry uh, um, Troop for the Civil War. So it's a very neat place that uh, you can see here. It's located right here on the river. Here's a self-made man born a slave, owned his own factory, helped several hundreds of Americans uh, receive their freedom and all kinds of things like that. So we should definitely celebrate and honor uh, uh, Mr. John P. Parker. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.